So, so far, what we've done is, from the beginning of term until now, we've learned how to read the rhythms. So whether it's ta, ta, a, or ta, a, a, or ta, a, 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 and we've learned how to know whether a note is an A, a B, a C, a D, a E, a F, or a G. In music, there's no H. Never say H. There's no H. It ends at G and we go back to A. So we said that any note that is on a line, if it's a line note, it gets a sentence, which is, every good boy deserves Fanta. And we just take the first letter of each of those words. So every starts with E, good starts with G, boy starts with B, deserve starts with D, and Fanta starts with F. So E, G, B, D, F. If we wanted to know what was in the space, oh man, I forgot. What should I do? Hit my face. So right there, F, A, C, E. Face goes in the spaces. F in space 1, A in space 2, C in space 3, E in space 4. Now, let's try and put all of that together, reading the rhythms and knowing what the notes are. So, just a quick reminder, we said if we cannot see through it, it's a quarter note and it gets one beat, which is ta. Just a simple clap, ta. If you can see through it, you see I can see through this line, I can see, I can see through this note because I can see the line behind it. If you can see through it, then that's a half note. And that goes, that gets two beats. And it goes, ta, ah. So your hands stick together for that second ah. Ta, ah. For this last note, this is the big daddy of them all. He gets all four beats. And he's called a whole note or a semi-brief. And he goes, ta, ah, ah, ah. So your hands stick together for three and they clap for one. So ta, ah, ah. Ah, that makes four beats in total. So let's try and say the rhythm. I'm going to say it and I can't clap it, but I want you to clap it and say it at the same time. Actually, I can't clap. Let me clap it with you. All right, ready? One, two, three, let's go. Ta, 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 a, ta, 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 a, a, a. Big Daddy, he gets four beats. So, now let's see if we can say what the notes are. So that's one aspect. We know how to say the rhythm. But now let's see if we can get the notes. All right, so we know what our line notes are. Every good boy deserves phantom. We know our space notes are face. So let's try and get this one. This is on the third line. So every good boy, that's a B right there. So B. This is a, on a space, space number two. So F, A. There we go. This is in a line, line number two. Every good G. I'm moving a bit quick here. This is in the second space, so F, A. All right, then these three are all on the same line, so that means if we know one, we'll know all of them. Which line are they on? Every good boy, B. B. Now, something very important. We can see that this, if we read all these notes together, what is Baga B, B, B? That doesn't mean anything, and music, when you spell out the notes, they don't have to mean anything. That's not the point. The point is to create a melody. And you'll see that better when you're playing recorder. So even if it was to spell something like beg, da, I, like it doesn't make sense, but that's how the music is written. So remember, it does not have to spell out a word. Instead, we read it individually. So that means we read it one at a time. So this is how I would read it, or how any musician would read it. B, A, G, A. B, 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 not baga, bu, 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 bu. not no, B, A, G, A, B, 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 and that's very important, you read it one at a time, not all together, alright, so let's go to the next line, so oh, look, this is pretty easy, these three notes and these three notes are on the same line, so these three are on the same space, these three are on the same line, so if we know one of these, we'll know all three, so let's find it. So little space number two, so F, A, that's A, and if this is A, 
then they're all A because they're all on the same space. Now look at this. Hey, this is the same as that one on the third line. So I already know that's B. Right there. What about this one? All right, this one is going down and going up. So every good boy goes on the third line. This one is on the second space, so F, A. This one's on the second line, so every good. And this one is on the second space, F, A. This is actually the same as that. So in music, you always want to try and find patterns. Sometimes they don't always keep changing the melody. Sometimes they like to repeat the melody. The melody is when these group of notes together, how they move. So you can see this one's going down and up. These three are staying on the same line. So that's how the person who wrote Mary Had a Little Lamb wanted to make the melody. Simple as that. Next one, let's try line number three. Oh, once again, all four notes are on the same line. Which line is that? Every good boy. All right. B, 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 B. All right, what about these spaces? So these are two on the same space. So F, A. So if I know this first one, I know the second one. All right, this one's on line number three. Every good boy. Nice. And this one is on the second space, the same space as these two. So that means I already know he's an A. And lastly, the semi-brief. He's on line number two. Every good. So he gets note number G. Note letter G, not number G. All right, so if we, let's just try and say all these notes out together, okay? Let's, so let's go, let's go for it. So one, two, three, go. B, A, G, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, 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 A, G, A, B, 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 A, A, B, A, G. Ooh. I've just realized something. I read out the notes, but I didn't stick with the right rhythm. Now in music, that's where the, that's where the magic comes together. Reading the notes and using the right rhythm. So it's not just ta, ta. Not every note is ta, because you can see we have some ta, as, and some ta, a, a, as. So now, let's try and read the note letter and clap the rhythm at the same time. Okay? So follow me. One, two, three. Go B A G A B B B A A A B B B B A G A B B B B A A B A G So if we were to play on the recorder, we get 100% because we played the notes and we played the right rhythm. So I want you guys to get really used to being able to find the notes on the staff or the stave because eventually we're not going to be writing the note letters underneath it because that's for beginners. We want you guys to get so much better that you don't need to write the letters. In fact, you'll just be able to look at the symbols and you'll be able to play and that's what we want. When you're able to do that, then that means you're doing fantastic. So. Put the rhythm, put the notes together, let's make some music. See you guys next week.